Hello, so we are back Tuesday, and I just want to show you an interesting fault, yeah? So this laptop came here for the USB ports replacement, okay? So that's why this laptop came here. But if you check the USB, are actually fine, it's no problem with the USB, are not like destroyed. So how we are checking the USB? I mean, we don't have the password. But the easy way, just plug a USB which has a light on it. So we plug the USB key, press the old key because it has to boot from it. It's our operating system there. Pressing the power and you can see the light. The light means the 5 volts is present. Okay? That's what the light means. Because you have to identify it's a data line issue or a power problem. Yeah? And it's not booting from the USB. That means the our issue is on the data lines. Okay. Now on the data lines, you will always find some uh, filters or some carbon resistors or some uh, however you want to call that thing. Is yeah. Let's have a look together. Which has to be zero ohms. Yeah. Let's have a look together. And this is on any laptop, yeah? It doesn't apply only on MacBooks. So we can see one USB is here, yeah? One USB is here. And look for uh, something like that. You see this? These are on the data lines, okay? And these are on the data line, so they are supposed to be zero ohms. Let's get the multimeter. The thing is, I, I can't figure it out why those things it will get burnt. Like checking this one from here to here, you have two resistors on uh, here parallel, yeah, but they are different. So this is nothing. You can see on the multimeter, infinite resistance. And here, we have zero ohms. You can see on the, on the screen. Yeah. So here is zero. And here is like infinite resistance. So this thingy is burned. You see this thingy? I mean, one resistor is good, one is burned. Yeah. So what can be the reason why something like that it will get burnt interesting yeah now let's check the other one and the other one is this one yeah so on this one this one look look on the meter it's it's like zero it's nothing it's infinite resistance sorry it's infinite resistance and this one has like zero ohms so it's burnt. Interesting. I mean, if they are burned, they are probably doing what it's supposed to do. I mean, protecting the data lines. But why the data lines, it will get that kind of voltage and current that made uh, those resistors to get burnt? Probably the customer plugs some thingy on the ESB port, which burn those resistors. Let's try to fix them quickly and see if it's working. We're gonna use a proper calibrated fuse, like usual. From here, the laptop has power on it, so we should be careful. Okay, that's one. <clears throat> and let's go on the other one here.
from here to here okay so we bridge the burn resistors let's test let's see they are working now let's plug the usb press the old key power let's see if it's booting from the usb No, it's not booting from the USB. Well, let's try the other one. Let's try here. It's not booting from the USB. Why that? Uh, I was so sure it only does the problem. Okay. Let's check the voltage there. Let me get the on-screen multimeter, volts. So here we have nothing. And here we have nothing. Here nothing, and here nothing. No, the USB is still on. I can see the light on the USB. So this is a data line here. And this is another data line. And the USB is plugged here. This is a data line. And it's nothing. This is another data line, and it's nothing. Okay, let's get the power supply. Let's switch the power supply to, let's say, 2.2 volts, low current. And let's come with the power on the data lines, yeah? Here, and it's nothing. And here, and it's like... It's taking some power, which is not normal. And here, this is taking like a hundred milliamps, which is a lot. And here, it's taking nothing. Okay, let's follow what is taking there a hundred milliamps. A hundred milliamps is a lot. Let me stick the ground somewhere. It's not taking anymore. No, it's not taking anymore. Nothing. And nothing. And here. 40 and here nothing here we 40 it's not taking anymore it's not taking current anymore
Let's power off. On. And the light is flashing on the USB stick. What about if my USB stick is not good? Hmm? Give me one second. He found another one. And it's working. That's sick. Yeah. So I'm really sorry about the problem. That was the issue. Let me take it out. Plug it here on the other one. And it's working fine. So the issue, it was that resistor. But my USB, my USB probably is too new. It's with the Catalina operating system. And this is El Capitan. So I think this is a 64 bits operating system. Or I'm wrong. Or is different. Anyway. Uh, the fault is clear. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't make sense. One resistor to be zero ohms. And the other resistor on the data line to have infinite resistance. Okay. So... We breached those resistors because that was the issue. Yeah, and now it's working. Remember, this came with uh, not reading the USB. I think you have to wait a little bit. And here. Okay, it's reading. And here, I probably you have to wait. Or not? Let's shut down and let's start again. It's not detecting my USB. Can be a different issue. So here, it's not working anymore. He's reading the USB, that's weird. You see the light is flashing, he's reading the USB. Okay, now it's detected. Now it's detected, that's weird, that's strange. Working. Working. Okay, so I'll clean the USB just to be sure. Uh, oh yeah, probably, probably it's a cleaning thingy. But the idea is, those resistors has to be zero ohms. Okay, and uh, on any laptop, maybe you don't have resistor, maybe you have coils. I seen with coils, yeah, has to be zero ohms. Yeah, that's all about on this video.
Hey, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And if you have this fault, check. Yeah, because the data line has to be fine. You have two data lines, and they should go to the USB PCH thingy. Yeah. See you on the next one. Bye.